care of all those. They were easily taken care of. One disabled child, and they let him rot. A judge lashes out about a horrific neglect case as more details come to light and more investigations are launched. Good evening, everybody. Talk of additional charges and a new investigation tonight in the death of an 18-year-old Ludlow boy. Joey Bishop died 10 days ago at Children's Hospital. His mother and two grandparents were in court today on manslaughter charges. Local 12's Joe Webb was there. He joins us now with the latest. Joe? Well, Cammie, the very latest is Kentucky's Cabinet for Health and Family Services has launched what's called a caretaker neglect investigation. And Joey Bishop's mother and grandparents' manslaughter cases are now headed to a grand jury where additional charges are possible. Jamie Bishop, Ray, and Sharon Martin said nothing in court today as a Ludlow police detective laid out the case against them. Sergeant Eric Love described how he was called to Children's Hospital on February 11th after workers there found bed sores all over the 18-year-old's body, including a massive bed sore on his lower back. It was probably about that big, several inches in diameter, um, and uh, I was informed later by the coroner that I believe it was two inches deep. The boy was dead by the time police arrived. Love said the three suspects admitted that the boy had not been moved from his bed in months, that they had neglected to take him to scheduled appointments. A search of the house found receipts for cleaning supplies and gloves hastily bought after the boy was taken to the hospital. His room was scrubbed, the mattress removed from the house. Based upon the testimony we've heard, I think that we would at the very least consider tampering with physical evidence as a possible additional charge will in all likelihood um, ask the grand jury to consider that. Pictures collected for Joey Bishop's funeral show a child enjoying typical childhood events. They do not show a child wasting away. State records show he did not attend school from late 2011 through 2015. Neighbor Stacy Leach didn't even know Joey Bishop lived across the street. They've been there for the probably the past three years. Never saw him? Never seen him. Never brought him out of the house. After a defense attorney requested a lower bond, Judge Ann Ruddle angrily said no. We have three capable adults that were easily taken care of, one disabled child, and they let him rot. Now, do I really think that they don't pose a danger? The same attorney asked if her client could attend Thursday's funeral. The judge refused again and bound the case over to the grand jury. Now, a closed investigation done by the Cabinet for Health and Family Services in Kentucky indicates that a wheelchair accident at Holmes Middle School when Joy Bishop was in seventh grade made him fearful of going to school. Soon after that, he began homeschooling. But the Cabinet report in May 2015 said Bishop had not been in any educational program, hadn't been in school since May of 2012. Cammie? Joe Webb, thank you. Prosecutor Rob Sanders cautions against jumping to conclusions that the system failed Joey Bishop. Sanders says Bishop had three adult caregivers who simply failed to take care of him.